Welcome back, dear listeners, to our channel, where we bring to life riveting Japanese literature and folklore. Today, we delve into the intriguing world of Kotaro Tanaka's The Sea Monk, a captivating tale that masterfully intertwines the ordinary and the extraordinary in a coastal setting. Buckle up as we set sail on a journey filled with mystery, suspense, and the unexplained. This is a story by novelist Izumi Kiyoka. There was a burly fisherman living on the coast of Boshu. One day, as his wife was preparing dinner while looking after their baby, a dirty monk came from nowhere and peered into their house. The wife thought he might have come for some rice, so she quickly prepared some rice balls and handed them to him, but the monk did not take them. The wife was kind, thinking he might want money, she offered him some, but the monk did not even look at it. The wife was scared and she backed away, holding the money and went towards the kitchen, feeling chilly, as if water was being poured down her spine, hoping her husband would come back soon. It got dark, and the sea started to roar right in front of their house. The monk was still in the same position, seeing the dark shadow of the monk. The wife could not stand it anymore and tried to sneak out from the back door. Then some burly fishermen from the neighborhood came up from their boat making noise. Seeing them, she ran to them, asked them to come, and explained the situation. They were all spirited men and said, that's strange, let's beat him up, surrounded the monk. Beat him up, and threw him into the sea at the water's edge. Soon her husband, the fisherman, came home, and when she told him the story, he seemed bothered. After dinner, he went out to the shore, but all he saw was the dark sea roaring fiercely. He went to bed soon after, but as the night went on, the storm outside grew stronger, and the sound of the waves seemed to shake the small fisherman's house. Then, just past midnight, a sorrowful call came from nowhere. The sleeping fisherman woke up startled. The sorrowful human voice was heard again. Ah, oh, it's a ship in distress. The fisherman jumped up, ignored his wife's restraint, and ran towards the shore. There, right in front of him, a monk was standing on a rock. Seeing that, the fisherman unintentionally said, Hey, what are you doing? The monk, without saying a word, pointed towards the fisherman's house. What? When the fisherman approached, the monk again, silently pointed towards the house. Wondering what it was, the fisherman turned around and heard a fiery cry of a baby from his house. Followed by his wife's scream, the fisherman, in a frenzy, tried to grab the monk, but the monk just laughed, showing his white teeth, and disappeared into the sea. The fisherman rushed into his house, where his wife was holding their cold baby, her face pale and her eyes twitching. Thank you for joining us in this journey, through the intriguing narrative of Umabozu. Through these tales, we explore not just the realm of the mystical, but also the human emotions and reactions in the face of the unknown. If you enjoyed this story and would like to discover more Japanese novels and folklore, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, keep the spirit of curiosity alive. And there you have it, the mesmerizing tale of The Sea Monk by Kotaro Tanaka. In the face of the unknown, do we confront it? Or do we flee? This story leaves us pondering about the thin line that separates the natural from the supernatural. If you enjoyed this journey into the heart of traditional Japanese storytelling, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, keep exploring, keep wondering.